So I just got in a Volkswagen XL1. Let me just close the door and I'll show you the rest of the interior. So there's a lot of carbon fiber inside this car and I'm actually quite surprised by that. I mean, you have carbon fiber everywhere. Now, this is no ordinary Volkswagen, as you can tell. And uh, the closer I get to know this car, the more it reminds me of McLaren. I'll explain why. So number one, the passenger seat is positioned a little behind the driver's seat so that the driver has a better view. Uh, just like in the McLaren Speedtail, you have uh, double windows, uh, just like in a Senna and a Speedtail as well. Uh, you have a lot of carbon fiber on the interior, of course, just like McLaren or any other high-performance car. So let's have a look uh, at the instrument panel. You have your dials and the screen there. You have some carbon fiber here. You have a knob on the passenger side. Uh, you have a screen on the door that's connected to external uh, mirrors for looking back, just like in the Speedtail. And uh, the f fabric inside is a little rough. It's not, uh, you know, the nicest fabric they have. If you look outside, you can see a classic Volkswagen uh, car. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very nice interior to be in. Uh, you have a lot of headspace as well. And uh, of course, when you open a door, there's a lot more headspace because this has butterfly doors. Now, there's a strange looking thing here. What is that for? Okay, so I get it. This is a manual handle for this small window here. So that's something that is not there on this you know, Midland Speedtail. Um, that's a strange, uh, so that's a very uh, ingenious thing that Volkswagen came up with. Okay, instead of power windows, they came up with a manual handle. Okay, so I'm going to open the door and it opens up upwards just like in the McLaren P1 or any other McLaren. And I'm going to step outside and show you the rest of this McLaren, I mean Volkswagen. So, uh, yes, this is of course a very uh, special Volkswagen. This was designed to be as economic as possible. It's called the XL1 because Volkswagen wanted it to achieve 100 kilometers on a single liter of diesel so it has a hybrid setup with the diesel engine uh, it's a 0.8 liter and of course as you can look at the body it's designed it kind of has a long tail design it's very sleek just like a McLaren speed tail and yeah it is I think they're both very very identical and it's very surprising so uh, you have a uh, you know minimal design a very minimalistic design so that you know the whole car is as aerodynamic as possible those are the side cameras uh, the wheels are of course two-tone now let's look at uh, this uh, page here okay so the XL1 was the most economical production car featuring a diesel hybrid uh, powertrain fuel consumption was 0.9 liter per 100 kilometers that's great two-seater uh, it can be driven in electric mode electric mode range is around 50 kilometers so yes, this car is designed to be as uh, economical as possible, unlike McLaren's. Now, all these similarities that I showed you and say, and when I said that this is exactly like a McLaren Speedtail, of course I was being sarcastic. I'm waiting for the comments of people who mistook my uh, information. Anyway, so this is it. This is a very quirky looking car and it also has uh, two-tone wheels and C-shaped headlights, which are of course, not very different than the C-shaped headlights you have on the McLaren. Those are, of course, rounder. This one is very square. So if you look at the details here, you have xenon lights, you have, um, you know, turning lights on the bottom half. Uh, I don't think it has daytime running lights. I think back in 2013, we didn't have those or they were not very common. Now, only 250 of these cars were made and they were only made for the European market. So it's here on display at the Volkswagen dealership. So I just had to come and show it to you. So maybe if you're from Europe, you might have seen this car on the road. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, do you think it's a nice car? It's not designed to be sporty, but I do like the design. It is very different from, uh, you know, regular Volkswagen. I love the tail light, that mass, uh, the big rectangular design. So yes, it is nice. Now, if you want to see more videos of uh, Volkswagen, you can head on down to the video description for names and links. If you want to see videos of the McLaren Speedtail, I've seen around seven of them. I've sat in two. So I know what the interior is like, so check out those videos as well.